So I wanted to come back to this paper here about the long former. Um, I have done a video on this. If you haven't seen it, then this video is probably not going to make much sense to you. But in the video, I go over what the long former is, what it does, how it compares, and so on. And the gist of the long former is that it can now do a transformer um, model on a long document, as you can read here. <clears throat> so I've gotten a lot of questions of like, does that mean we can now have much longer documents, right? Uh, the BERT model doesn't fit into my memory. Can this solve my problem? And I just kind of want to go into the math of the long former memory requirements here because I think I've alluded to it, but it is um, it is quite a a. I think the graphics here are just a bit misleading um, from the way they implement it. Now I've already gone over something like this in the last thing. So Roberta, Ro, let's spell this correctly. Roberta, that is their baseline, has a, a size, a, let's call that N0 of 512. So they can have 512 tokens at the same um, time. So if you have a sequence that is way longer than 512, you need to chunk it up into pieces of 512 and usually do something like overlapping pieces or something like this, right? And now the promise of the long former, as it is in the paper, um, is that you can put all of this into the long former, right? And it will do this sliding window attention thing where it basically slides a window here, this window across this uh, input sequence and only does this local attention right within the window. And then it also has some global attention uh, that it constantly has. Now, what I find interesting is that in their experiments, their window size here, so the long former window size is 512, right? So um, within that window, you have the classic n squared full attention. So right. Um, so let's just go in into into that. How much memory does the long former really do? We've already calculated it here a bit, but I want to uh, take this still apart a bit. So as you can see on the left here, you have n times w um, that you have for this middle band, right? So this middle band is n times w. Then you want to add the global attention, right? So the global attention, you can al already see it right here. If you have one, two, three, four uh, locations of global attention, you have four times two because you ha also have them in this direction, right? You have them um, in both directions times your full sequence length. So plus two times full sequence length, length uh, times the number of global attention. I call this S over here. Right. So as we saw up here, the window size here was and zero uh, in their experiments. So let's re re replace this window size by n zero. And actually, let's factor out the n. So we'll get to n times uh, n zero plus two s. All right, so you, you can already see that Roberta originally had n0 squared. Now, if n is larger than n0, that means you already use more here. The, f the, <laughs> the kind of trick, let's, it's not really a trick, it is true that this is order of n, right? If n is your input sequence length, but and this here is technically 
order of n squared if n if this is n but <laughs> the sequence length in roberta was the was the window size of the long former so this is n0 squared right and here technically you'd have to say this is n times n0 so if n is larger than n0 you can see that this uses more memory given that so in their experiments they use a model that on paper uses more memory than the baseline model um, and saying that it it scales linearly s with sequence length is because I mean of course it scales linearly because they can now input these long sequences right and the attention sorry the memory requirements scales basically linear and also linear with the window size now the window size still needs to be apparently large-ish in order to achieve the performance so the fact that the performance is equal or better is not really a secret because it uses more memory right um, it's not like this model uses less memory but outperforms the old one it uses more uh, if you want to look at it you have to ask okay I have Roberta and right now I can do n squared so this is n this is n so there's n0 n0 this is my sequence length that I can put into Roberta you have to ask yourself what kind of sequence do I want to put in right. and if you say I want to put in a sequence that's twice as long right I want to put in this long of a sequence so n here would be twice n0 then you have to take this put it here put it here and then you realize yes that your window size your of of the long former can only be half right so if you have the same amount of memory you can double your sequence length at the cost of having your having your um, window size but that doesn't yet include the cost of the global attention so any global attention you do will come basically on top of the window size you see this here right so the you decide on let's do it like this you decide on how long you want your thing your your input sequence length to be then you decide then that means that's this rectangle here then you decide how many global um, attentions do I want and here I say I want one global attention and you have to cross out as many uh, rows here as you want global attention and what remains is your window actually you have to cross out twice but we don't have uh, uh, we only have one left <laughs> but you get the point you have to cross out two times s um, rows of how many global attentions you want and what remains will be your window size in this case it's just a window size of one so that's how you would construct a long former that takes in the same amount of memory as a your classic model but can take a full n sequence length all right so i just wanted to kind of make that clear go through the calculation um, myself and i hope that helped thanks for listening and if you like this consider subscribing liking and bye bye